Hi, fourth graders. This is Timursma here. Welcome to another edition of Writing Club. Uh, this is a really exciting day because we are going to start a brand new unit. I know it's like almost the end of the school year, but we have three more weeks of, of writing that we're going to work on this new project. So hopefully you finished up your informational chapter book. And if it's all done and you love it and you want your teacher to print it out, then tell them that that's your final copy and they'll print it for you and send it home in your packets. Um, yeah, because all that hard work, we'd love for you to have a copy of it. So now we're going to switch gears to narrative writing. So narrative means writing a story. And so in fourth grade, you've already written fictional stories, like ones that you made up of characters with characters. Now we're going to write true stories. So for the next three weeks, I'm going to teach you some things about writing stories. You may work on just one true story for those three weeks, or you can pick a new story each week and write three different stories. So this is what I'm going to teach you today, okay? Um, so true stories. The first thing is... This is in your packet in day one, and it just is going to remind you of the things that I'm going to teach you about today. So four things I'm going to teach you about to get started on your true story. And right here, I'm going to teach you that to think of something that happened to you, then we're going to touch the pages and, um, and tell the story. Then we're going to sketch it and write it. So I'll show you. So writing a true story from your life. First, to think of a great idea. So, you know, in a fictional story, there's always a problem. So, you need to think of a time in your life where things didn't go quite as planned. Maybe you had a little bit of trouble or a hard time or a problem. Because if it's just like a normal, boring, perfect day, you know, that's nothing. That's not fun to write about. You got to think of some good, good problems because everybody's gone through problems. And then um, in your packet, um, I've we've included like three pages. And you're going to, before you write, you're going to think about what happened. Think through your story. Think about what happened at the beginning. Think about what happened in the middle. And then what happened at the end to resolve or solve the problem. And then... Um, the papers that we gave you have a little box where you could just sketch a little drawing to show what happened in the beginning, middle, and end. And that's going to help you plan it. Instead of doing the story arc this time, that's kind of how we're planning. Um, and then you can go and write each page. Um, and you can just write a little bit because then the next lesson I'm going to teach you how to elaborate the same story. So here we go. Remember, just like a fictional story, your true story needs to have characters. The characters are probably, well, going to be you, um, maybe your family members, maybe your teacher, maybe your friends. You have to think about your situation and who's going to be in your story. And then the plot is like what happens. Like it's the trouble and what, what happens next and after that. And then the last thing is, of course, your story needs to take place in somewhere because your reader has to be able to picture what's happening. So you can't just write a story and not describe the setting or where it's happening. So that's just a little reminder about what a story has to have. And then here is your pages in your day one packet. And I'm going to walk through my idea just to model um, how to come up with a story. I'm not going to write it. I'm just going to write in the air and tell you my story. So I decided to choose the story of last year. You may remember when my dog followed me to school. It, <laughs> it was a problem. So I decided to choose that. So here's what happened at the beginning where the trouble starts. Um, I would sketch a picture of me walking to school. The reason I was walking to school is because all of my family members needed all the cars that day, so there was no cars left for me to drive, so I don't live far. So I walked to school, and I could not get my dog to stay home. 
she was being so stubborn. She's not a dog that you could tie up very easily. And so she followed me. And I kept telling her to go home, go home, and she would not listen. So I figured once I was in my classroom, she would forget about me and she would wander home because she knows where we live. Um, well, that did not happen. So what happened next is I was starting to teach in my class and my students were all here. And I got a phone call from the office saying my dog was trying to go in the front doors of school. And the other thing about my dog is she's, well, she's actually died since then, but she is stinky and smelly and uh, she's just, she was kind of an old stinky dog. So no one wants her in the school. Plus she's shedding all over the place. So that was what happened in the middle of the story. It got worse because she tried to get in. She's stinking up the school. Then what happened last is I had to call my husband who was sleeping and he was not happy and he had to come and get her and he came to school. So I would draw a picture of him with his grumpy face trying to get the dog in the car to bring her home and that's how it ended. So it solved the problem. So that's my story. Um, next time I'll have it written out for you to see. And But I want you to think about a time in your life. It could be during this time that you've been home. It could be something that happened to you several years ago. Um, any little, you want to pick a small moment. You don't want to pick like this long, like a whole week long camping trip. One small moment, one small problem that you can really like focus on and just write about that this week. So um, you may write on this or if you want to, you may write on Office 365. You will share this with your teacher at the end of the week. So you're going to work on this all week and then share it with them at the end. Um, and if you're halfway done, that's fine. You can keep working on it next week too. So nice job, everyone. Keep writing. Don't forget paragraphs and good sentences and capitals and periods and all those things that you already know about. Don't forget. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.